This isn't just a new turboprop. It's a warning shot to every aircraft in its class. The Epic E 1000 AX isn't an upgrade. It's a technological leap redefining speed, safety, and automation in turboprop aviation. Very first AX certified with the weather radar and the new Starlink kit. Literally, they were just certified yesterday. And this story doesn't start in the air. It starts on the ground in Bend, Oregon. Inside Epic Aircraft's factory, something rare happened. One of the very first Epic E 1000 AX models ever certified was handed over to its new owners, not months after approval, not weeks. One day after certification, that's how fresh this aircraft was. Even more insane? This exact airplane became the first AX ever delivered with weather radar and fully certified Starlink. Those weren't optional add-ons waiting in the future. They were live, legal, and ready on day one. This delivery wasn't rushed. It took a full year of planning, coordination, and patience. The buyers didn't even order a finished product. They ordered a vision. The AX hadn't officially launched yet when the deal was signed. Being first matters in aviation. First means new standards. First means shaping how everyone else will compete. Early adopters don't just buy airplanes, they influence the future direction of the entire segment. And standing there on delivery day, you could feel it. This wasn't just another handover. This was a line being crossed. What would you do? Wait it out or bet early on the future? Of the 1000 series turboprop, it's the uh, 1000 AX. And uh, you know, at first blush, you look at this airplane and people might say, well, it's got Garmin Auto Land and Auto Throttle like some of the others, but mm -mm, there's a lot more packed into this airplane uh, than electronics, although. Here's where it gets interesting. This wasn't a brand loyal purchase. The buyers didn't walk in saying, we want an Epic. They evaluated multiple turboprops across the market, big names, proven platforms, safe choices. On paper, plenty of them looked solid. But aviation isn't flown on paper. Every aircraft they reviewed did something right. Speed here, range there, comfort somewhere else. But none of them checked every box. And when you're spending this kind of money, almost perfect isn't good enough. The turning point was mission clarity. How many people, how far, how fast, how often, real world flying, not brochure promises. That's where the AX separated itself. More cabin space, faster crews, better fuel efficiency, not by sacrificing something else, but by balancing everything together. Spec sheets can lie, missions don't. And that's why the AX didn't just win, it made the decision obvious. Have you ever noticed how the best choices feel calm once you finally see them clearly? Now here's the part most buyers get wrong. They rush. There was a chance to grab the last production slot of the previous GX model. Proven, available, safe. But instead of settling, they waited. And that wait changed everything. The AX wasn't just a refresh. It came with new automation systems, new avionics logic, new features, and a completely new design philosophy. This wasn't paint deep change. It was foundational, auto throttle, auto land, integrated radar, certified Starlink. These weren't bolt-ons. They were built into the aircraft's DNA. Waiting meant stepping into the next generation instead of buying the final chapter of the last one. In aviation, patience can be expensive, but impatience is worse. Strategic waiting doesn't delay progress. Sometimes it multiplies it. Wait, you're watching right now, but not subscribed to the channel. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button so we can move on with the video. You did? Okay, cool. Now back to the story. The material's about as sticky as a post-it note. And when you warm it up, it's about as sticky as duct tape. So they take this material and press it into the mold. Here we've got a right side and a left side fuselage skin. And then there's Epic itself. This isn't a massive, faceless manufacturer. 
Epic is smaller, and that's its secret weapon. Delivery Day included a full factory tour led by the CEO himself. Not a guide, not a manager. The CEO, that alone tells you something. What really stands out is that the CEO is also an Epic owner and pilot. He flies what the company builds. He lives with the same systems. He notices the same quirks. That feedback loop is priceless. Walking the production floor, it didn't feel like an assembly line. It felt like a workshop. Every technician moved like a craftsman, not a checkbox worker. And yes, it's all built in Oregon, USA. That still matters. Quality control, accountability, pride. When leadership is passionate and hands-on, that energy trickles down. You don't just see it, you feel it. Now let's talk about something that sounds cosmetic, but absolutely isn't. The Epic E1000AX uses a carbon fiber fuselage, which brings strength and performance, but also heat challenges. Older Epics required a white base paint to reflect UV rays and prevent heat buildup. This AX? Different story. It's the first Epic serial number ever finished with PPG's UV transparent paint. Even with darker colors, UV light passes through, reflects off the white layer beneath, and dissipates safely. Translation? You get bold paint without compromising the structure? That's not style over substance. That's engineering hiding inside aesthetics. Most people will just say, nice paint. Engineers will quietly nod. And that's what makes the AX dangerous. It looks good while solving problems you didn't even know. And just when you think the paperwork's done, this is where the real test begins. Epic doesn't hand over the keys and wish you luck. Delivery day includes a structured validation flight. And it's thorough. Every system is checked on the ground first. Lights, pressurization, avionics, autopilot logic. Nothing gets a free pass. Then it goes airborne. For about an hour to an hour and a half, the delivery pilot runs the airplane through its paces, normal ops, edge cases, system by system confirmation that everything works exactly as advertised. This isn't a joyride, it's a controlled stress test. And that's what sets Epic apart. The process builds confidence before ownership begins. When the owner finally takes possession, there's no guessing, no anxiety, just trust. How many manufacturers actually let you verify everything before saying, it's yours? Here's where things really shift. If you've flown the E1000GX, you already know it's a serious machine. But stepping into the AX feels like crossing into a new era. The differences aren't subtle. You get auto throttle, constantly managing power without you chasing numbers. Autoland, a safety net that used to belong only to jets. Weather radar, fully integrated, not bolted on. And Starlink, which changes what connected means at altitude. But the real magic isn't the feature list, it's the workload drop. Automation in the AX doesn't replace the pilot. It supports them. It smooths the rough edges. It removes the constant micromanagement that drains energy on long flights. That's why people keep saying it's easy to fly. And they mean that in the best way. Less fatigue, more awareness, more enjoyment. Flying becomes fun again, not a checklist grind. And that's the quiet revolution here. The AX doesn't just fly faster or smarter, it lets pilots finish a flight feeling better than when they started. Isn't that what progress is supposed to feel like? This part surprised a lot of people. Inside the cockpit, everything just flows. The logic makes sense. Startup flows, emergency procedures, takeoff sequences. They're intuitive, not memorized puzzles. You're not fighting the airplane, you're working with it. Checklists aren't there to save you, they're there to back you up. That's a big difference. Redundancy is baked into the design, not added as an afterthought. If something fails, the airplane already expects it and compensates. 
What's impressive is how balanced it feels. This cockpit works for owner pilots and professional operators. No intimidation factor. No oversimplification. It respects your skill without demanding constant attention. That's rare. And once you see it, you realize this wasn't accidental. It was designed by people who actually fly. Here's the truth nobody likes to admit. Specs don't tell the whole story. You can read numbers all day, range, speed, fuel burn, but until you sit in the airplane and fly it, none of it really lands. That's what changed everything here. The buyers didn't just research online, they flew. They felt how the cockpit worked, how the cabin felt, how the systems interacted in real time. That's when specs turn into reality. And that's why evaluating every turboprop in the segment mattered. Not to compare numbers, but to compare experiences. Some airplanes look great on paper and wear you out in real life. The AX? It did the opposite. And once you experience that, going back to spec sheet shopping feels pointless. This might be the most important part of the entire story. Having a non-commissioned aviation advisor changes everything. Someone who isn't tied to a manufacturer. Someone who isn't selling you this airplane, but the right airplane. That perspective matters, from negotiating price, to selecting safety features, to catching details non-pilots would never think about. Having a pilot's eye in the room protects you from expensive mistakes. This isn't about upselling, it's about mission fit. And once you've done it this way, you don't go back. That's why the owners set it straight. They wouldn't buy another aircraft alone again. In aviation, experience isn't optional, it's insurance. The Epic E-1000X isn't just leading the turboprop market, it's rewriting the rules. Automation, connectivity, and craftsmanship finally aligned around real missions. As 2026 approaches, this isn't a prediction anymore. This is the direction aviation is already moving. So what's your take? Future king or just getting started? Drop it in the comments, and if this broke things down clearly, hit like and subscribe. More is coming.